Good morning and welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, June 2nd. If you're new, uh, I hope you consider liking and subscribing. Everyone else, welcome back. Our devotions, of course, are being taken from The Daily Prophecy by Brenda Kuhneman. Really, really enjoying this book. I cannot believe we're about halfway through this year and God still has a lot to say and do. Um, our devotion today is entitled Relationships Healed. This is going to be a good one. This is very important. Let's hear our devotion, I mean our um, prophetic word for today. I have come to heal the relationships that I designed to be in your life because of the fruit they are destined to produce. Know that I shall heal hearts and minds from hurts and misunderstandings so that you are able to agree as one. So important, so important. Our prophetic scripture comes from John 17, 11. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are one. And of course, that was the words of Jesus. Unity is such an important part of relationships, especially the marriage relationships. There needs to be unity as the couple become one. Uh, there's agreement, but of course, most marriages, you're finding opposites are the case just as in my own marriage. I am the boisterous, outgoing extrovert. My husband is an introvert. So there are things that we handle very differently, but I have found that where I am weak, the areas where I really don't function well is a big strength for him and vice versa. Where he is weak, I am strong. And so you could just use the personalities of me loving to be around people and serving and just jumping right in like into a mosh pit. Woo, you know, let me jump in. And my husband's like preferring to stay home, but he recognizes that that's not really the best thing. Now, I'm not saying that all introverts need to become extroverts. Absolutely not. Don't misinterpret my words. What I'm saying is, is that his tendency to pull away and get alone leaves him vulnerable to enemy attacks. It's important because God wants us to assemble together. So with me by his side, it's encouraged him to step out and be in company more and to be involved in things he would normally say no to and vice versa. But with that, there have also been tremendous misunderstandings and miscommunications in our marriage as well that have led to some rocky seasons in our 33 years together. Seasons to where we were not happy with one another, where, you know, the misunderstandings, anger, hurt feelings, having to work through and realizing as we surrender to the Lord that it was the enemy trying to attack our marriage and our family. And so that's important to recognize as well who your real enemy is. Let's hear what uh, how Brenda expounds on this. Broken relationships, regardless of the reason, are one of the greatest hindrances to human happiness. They are also one of the greatest hindrances to the overall health of the body of Christ. That's found in 1 Corinthians 11.30 if you want to look that up. While some relationships while some relationships simply can't be restored due to the hardness of some people's hearts, God does look for those whose hearts are soft enough where he can provide an anointing to bring relationships, including struggling marriages, back together. Of course, not all relationships are designed by God, but at the same time, if hearts are open and teachable, God can work with anything and anyone. We need the relationships ordained by God to be strengthened. If you are part of a broken relationship, then ask God if the relationship is of him. If you are confident that it is, then believe that the Lord will be involved and help all parties involved come to truth. We can't always fix these relationships through human reasoning. We can't. 
Sure, we can attempt to talk things out and try to decide what needs to be fixed. In the end, we need the Holy Spirit to impart revelation to hearts and minds that creates healing and agreement. Ask the Lord to help you be part of that healing process for godly relationships today. So important in our society has made it so easy to just throw away a relationship because I'm not happy because my feelings aren't being respected because this that or the other and we just don't know everything when you surrender all those things to the Lord you know now again I'm not talking about someone whose life is in danger due to severe abuse mental or physical abuse um, where there is uh, harshness control where there are things happening that are destroying a person I'm not talking about that I'm talking about human beings that are broken and fallen that are wounded that are trying to live life together but because of their own woundedness and brokenness they're having a struggle okay that's what I'm talking about and instead of throwing in the towel and waiting to find another this leads to the string of multiple broken relationships which further hurts a person God said he hates divorce because of the damage it does. Not that, and then some people have taken that to be legalistic and say, you can never divorce. And if you divorce, you're, you've committed a mortal sin. That happened to my father. Um, his first marriage, uh, there was abandonment. Um, my two oldest sisters and uh, some infidelity, I understand, on her part as well. And he divorced her. And because of that, was excommunicated from the Catholic Church. Now, never mind that there was valid reason. It was still, you can, you know, and I, nope. Salvation is through grace, and it doesn't matter what you've done. You repent sincerely before the Lord, and there was no reason. He was the one who had been wronged. So those legalistic rules like that, the leaders of those churches that support that type of thinking, they need to rethink that because God's grace is greater than that. Okay? Uh, he does, his grace is greater than that. If you've made a mistake and you have married a monster or something like that, and you're like, oh my gosh, I, I'm in danger. My life's in danger. My children's lives are in danger and you need to flee and escape. You flee and escape. Okay. God does not intend for you to stay in a place where your life is being threatened. You or your children or your other family members. You need to get out of that and get yourself into a safe place. However, this is about not running away from those basic things. When we run into hurts and misunderstandings, God can heal that. And he wants to heal that. Even if there has been sin, deliberate sin, like infidelity, seek the Lord. God can do miraculous things. You should check out CBN.com. They have so many testimonies of marriages that seemed impossibly broken, irreparably broken, that God has miraculously restored. That is so encouraging and so filling you with hope that there's, you know, you can look at a circumstance and uh, understand and know there's no way. I'll see if I can find a few and link them below for you to look at and be encouraged by. But for today now, let's say the prayer. I want you to be encouraged, okay? It's important to seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Be able to hear His voice and get direction from Him. Not from the world, because the world's going to tell you throw in the towel. But if God wants you to stick it out, if God wants to do a miracle in your life, in your marriage, in your family... You don't want to be, you don't want to miss that front row seat to something amazing. Let's say the prayer today. Father, I thank you for all the relationships in my life that you have ordained. Of the ones that are broken, I ask that you would bring healing. Heal my heart of all wounds and help me walk in total love and forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. Now I know my focus tended to be towards the husband and wife relationship, but there are siblings, there are extended family, cousins, aunts, uncles, mothers, fathers, uh, sons, and daughters, where relationships have been broken. 
whether it's been from actual betrayal or misunderstanding, generational brokenness, God wants to heal those relationships too. It's the enemy's design to bring destruction. God wants to heal and give you life and have it to the full. He wants to break those things the enemy has tried to use to destroy you and your family for generations. Keep that up. I mean, keep that in mind. So God bless you. Thank you again for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope this has lifted you up and encouraged you. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> What is wrong with me today? I can't even speak. Make sure you like and subscribe and God bless you until next time.